and welcome to yet another episode of Let's Die a Lot in Dark Soul. uh, Dark Souls, even. Um, and I've returned to the bonfire, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna revive a reverse hollowing here because I actually managed to screw up last time a bit off camera, and I'm gonna go for the boss. But I'm probably going to fast forward, you know, or, well, not fast forward, I'm going to edit this bit out. But if anything interesting should happen on the way, you know, like, if I'm invaded or something, I might show you that. But then again, it's not very far, come to think of it, so I'm probably, probably just going to show you all of this because, yeah... Here we are, this is the gate to the boss. And I pretty much showed you everything I know of in this map. Quite a lot, lots of secret stuff. And we're gonna run up here and we are very close to the boss right now, so not much else left to do here. Except kill a few of these guys and there's another one behind me, but oh, you managed to get me, didn't you? All right, I'm just going to run and kill you. And then there's a bunch of these guys that show up out of nowhere. Monster kill! And there's a knight over there. He's not particularly difficult. He's one of those knights that you kind of... You fought them in... I think there's one in Sen's Fortress and one in the Undead Parish. And yeah, they show up here and there. They're not very hard to kill. With a good weapon. Just stay behind them pretty much and chop them up and take damage of course and why are you not blocking and don't heal I don't like that goodbye give me your stuff large tight night shot yeah right right so here we are at the boss fog wall and I'm going to switch weapons because I'm going to try my hardest to get special weapon from this boss. This is, I think, the, the boss that's uh, got the hardest tail to cut off, so to speak. <laughs> Most of the bosses, or quite a few of the bosses, have, have tails that you can cut off to get special weapons. And this one is pretty tricky. So I'm actually going to equip a different weapon set here and see if that helps me. I've failed pretty miserable before. I'm going to equip the Zweihander and I'm going to equip the Drake Sword. And I'm, what I'm going to try to do, I'm going to use the Zweihander to cut off the tail. But the problem is, once you damage this boss, she will go invisible. And you will have to make more damage to her for her to reappear. And I want to use the Drake Sword uh, to make just enough damage to make her come back without killing her. I hope that makes some sense, maybe. Uh, we'll see, maybe I'll die trying, but I'm gonna try and use this because this got a very powerful, I think, cutting attack, like, you know, a downward slashing attack. That hopefully means that I might be able to get the tail. I think you need to make, like, 25% damage, one-fourth damage to, or maybe even 50% damage to her, to her tail, to have it fall off. So we'll see if this works because I think this is the last weapon I really need to get the uh, uh, rare weapons achievement. Let's have a chat with this woman, shall we? Who art thou? One of us thou art not. If thou hast misstepped into this world, plunge down from the plank and hurry home. If thou seekest I, thine desires shall be requited not. Right, um, I'm not one of you and you don't want to talk to me, that's nice. You can actually just leave her if you want. You can actually run up here and uh, fall off this ledge and uh, you will be returned to the uh, to Ainolondo. And here's the uh, Santa's set, uh, the uh, Jeremiah's set. But I'm not going to leave. I want your tail. Mm, yeah, baby, I do. And uh, I'm going to try my damnedest to get it. it. This is pretty damn hard. Ah, all right. See if I can do this. I want to hit her tail, nothing else. 
Ah, crap. And then she goes invisible and... I'm gonna switch to the Drake Sword and she will... Come back again once you kind of attack her. You can see her footsteps. Oh my god, she does a pretty wicked bloodlust. You know, a um, what's it called? A bleed attack. I think she's over here. No, she's not. Uh, where is she? Oh my god, she's behind me, I think. Or maybe not. I mean, this is not really a. Oh my god, there she is. I think it's time to heal up. Because she's gonna slaughter me! Run! I do not want to get the, uh, well, get, or, uh, bleed out, rather. Where are you at? There you are. Oh. Ah, there she's back. I'm gonna switch to the Sly Hunter again, and I'm gonna try... Oh, fuck me! My greed is gonna be the end of me. Can I? Oh my god. Ah, this is difficult. And she's... invisible again? Oh no, she's not. Uh, I'm thinking this is going to be pretty difficult because I can't even really get behind her. I can't see anything really. Come on! Ah, oh, really, this is pretty hard. And I'm going to switch back. I'm going to heal up and switch back to the Drake Sword. I'm not sure this is a good idea, really, but... Oh, she's right behind me. Ah. Oh, come on! And he's gonna get... Ah, oh, fuck me! Blood loss, damn! Where's she at? Just heal up, for God's sake! Uh, all right, let's see where you at. I'm kind of tempted just to kill her now because I'm getting pretty frustrated with this. Ah, there she is. Oh, I'm really kind of slow. And I only got one more Estes, which is pretty bad. Ah, oh, really, this is bull crap. This is gonna e mean the end of me. What? Oh, come on. I think I better heal up. What? She's right in front of me. How the f. Oh, man. Oh god. Where are you at? I think she's behind me, right? Yep, yeah, there she is somewhere. It's kind of hard to see where she's in what direction she's moving because I mean the feet doesn't seem to indicate that. They just seem to be kind of random. All right, let's see if we can do this this time. Ah, oh. yep, invisible again. Oh yeah, there she is. Ah. 
I got it! Yes! Now it's just a question of killing her. I'm not making much damage though. I think I'm going to switch to the Drake Sword and see if I... Oh, not much better damage there. Hopefully I'm going to get her now. She does a snowstorm attack, whatever the fuck you want to call it. I think it's fairly safe to stay behind her. No, 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 don't... Don't disappear. Stay a while. Stay a while. Stay forever. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, crap. This is nerve-wracking. Come on, where are you at? There you are. There you are. Just gonna try and run behind you. Ah, shit. Oh, that was the the worst roll so far. <laughs> I'm so tempted on trying to switch weapons. Maybe I should try and do that really, 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 really quickly. Maybe if I'm like really, really super fast. Now what am I doing? Oh, fuck me! Oh, that's bull! <laughs> I've got some good news, and I've got some bad news. I did get Priscilla's dagger, but on the way over here, I managed to screw up and die again, and lost all my souls and five humanity, or maybe it was four, I don't know. Oh my god, yeah. So, uh, this is a pretty shitty day, I have to say. I'm, I'm uh, doing terribly at Dark Souls right now. So, uh, yeah, but anyway, it's just souls, you know? I don't need them. But I am going to kill this woman because she annoys the fuck out of me. And I'm going to use the... Uh, my main sword this time, which will mean that it's going to be a whole hell of a lot easier. What? How could I miss her there? But that was pretty embarrassing, the, uh, the uh, anticlimactic final of my first fight with Prizzle. I did fall off the ledge and I almost had her. Really quite sad, I would say. Oh, God. Oh, my. She is still a bit annoying, I have to say. I don't know how much damage I'm doing to her because I can't really see. But I'm hoping... Where are you at? Uh, where... Uh, maybe I should move over here so I can see her footsteps anyway. Ah, oh, there she is. Gonna try and come around her. What? Sometimes I think these footsteps are pretty much just random. I don't know. It's just like, what? Oh my. Yeah, all right. Let's just run. Oh yeah. There, there she is. Hi. Hello, Prisla. Come over here and for God's sake. Oh, and of course I turn my back on her there. On her there. This should make things considerably easier. But I'm I'm hitting you. Why do you not Ah, oh, and she turned invisible yet again. But I do I do inflict a fair amount of damage, I have to say. And this time I'm going to stay away from the ledges, right? Yep. Goodbye, Prisla. One more hit and you're gone. I seek it. Tons and tons of souls. That's what I seek. And your soul. Specifically your soul. Yeah, so anyway, let's get out of here. Uh, this is, yeah, definitely one of my favorite maps, but yeah. Let's just fall off this ledge and return to Aino Londo.
so here we are back in Aina Londo and there's another item over there didn't I pick up the armor set already that's weird hmm great sword black iron great shield hmm I don't remember picking this up here did I miss it somehow last time I did pick up the armor set, didn't I? Ah, oh, that's strange. Never mind, I'm just going to run out of here because I I just can't be bothered fighting these guys. They are just they are just boring. I might kill you just because I feel like it and to get some style points, but then I'm out of here. Yeah, yeah, I heard that. Yeah, one of them's following me of course I don't really care I'm gonna run down to the bonfire here I'm gonna speed this up most likely right back in Aino Londo at the bonfire and uh, yeah I'm missing my souls I had a crap ton of souls but yeah I've got 36,000 now so yeah all right that's better than nothing I suppose maybe I should just repair my stuff here real quick uh, so what are we gonna do now maybe I'm gonna show you how to get to Dark Sun Gwendolyn maybe yeah I'm gonna do that real quickly I'm gonna swap rings I'm gonna remove the Hornet ring and I am going to equip the what should we call it the oh, the Dark Moon Seance ring and that makes this statue of Gwyn disappear and then you can run down here and have a chat with Dark Sun yeah this Gwendolyn. This is the tomb of the great Lord Gwyn. Tarnished it shall not be by the feet of men. If thou art a true disciple of the Dark Sun, cast aside thine ire. Hear the voice of mine self, Gwendolyn, and kneel before me. O oh, disciple of the dark sun, thou hast journeyed far. Hear my voice, if thou shalt swear by the covenant to become a shadow of Father Gwyn and Sister Guinevere, a blade that shall hunt the foes of our lords, then I shalt protect thee, safeguarding thy person with the power of the dark moon. So you can join his covenant, but I'm not going to do that. Very well. We shall not need speech. Exit here and follow thine own design. So I'm going to leave. Uh, and you can actually just traverse the white light here if you'd like as well and fight Guinevere uh, in a boss fight. Um, he's not super easy and not super difficult. But um, yeah, and there's some items waiting for you as well at the end of this boss fight. And I can't quite remember what it is. But I've done it and... Uh, I might do it in this let's play as well just for the fun of it but I'm gonna wait with that I'm gonna run back up to the bonfire and uh, well what to do now maybe I'll just cut this episode short right now or yeah I think I will and I'll see you in the next one um, and I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do I'm gonna have a think about that we'll see It'll be a surprise. So thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and all that stuff. And see you next time. Bye.